it kind of hits you when you land. As soon as you walk out of the airplane, the feeling of like the air and the smells and the warmth, it all like hits you. It's like this wave of sensory overload. You just immediately feel like I'm in Hawaii. They call Oahu the, the gathering island. Every winter, like everyone just invades on the North Shore. And it's, it's, it is what it is. It's the North Shore. You know, I've been lucky to travel to almost all the outer islands now. It definitely opened my eyes. It changed my whole perspective on what I thought of as Hawaii from when I first went to the North Shore to now. It's like two totally different things. I'm Sig Zane and I live in Hilo, Hawaii. Amazing name. Sigmund. <laughs> Let's call him Siggy. <laughs> How do you describe Sig? I mean, he looks like a little kid, you know? He's, he's so fit and he surfs and he's just like so energetic and, and alive. And, and I love the way he always stops. Like he always just takes the time to embrace wherever he is. I tell people, I'm like, yeah, he's the guy who makes the Aloha shirts, <laughs> you know? But that just seems so, like, that doesn't do it justice at all. Because there's so much more that goes into it for, for him. I think every day is um, a brand new day, especially um, here. You know, we we are privy to so much, and um, yeah, I I'm so grateful. I think an average day starts out in the water. I think that's the the best way to uh, cleanse the soul, uh, renew the spirit, and then you're ready for anything because you've already um, stood on the top of the world on that wave, yeah. When you live somewhere that's so healthy, like this place is just, there's so much life. That's where he draws his inspiration for like all of his work. Lay poor Kenny Kenny, Ahina Hina, the silver sword in bloom. This is the Lehua, Waiakea Kua, Kalau Koa, the Koa leaves, the Ulu leaf unfolding. I hand cut every design with an X Acto knife, and I cut the design out on amberlith film, and they don't even make amberlith film anymore. but. I think that the hand cut illustrates the hand. In this day and age when the computer is so easy, something is amiss, something is not there. And really it is that, that spirit, it is that, that power that is delivered through the hands. It is a, a responsibility that I live with, that. I got to perpetuate this image so that the next person can understand that this is a valuable plant to our environment, to the universe. From the first day we hung out, we talked about some sort of collaboration and we talked about different trees and plants that I could draw and he could cut out and, and then as the trip went on, we just had all these different experiences. And we went on this amazing hike up through the volcano and we stumbled across this giant koa tree that fell. You know, it was one of those trees that they carved a canoe out of back in the day. And you look at it and you're just like, how would you even start that process? <laughs> we started talking about fish and he loves to fish and he just grabbed his pole and we were staying right on this little river and he, he casts his line, probably his second cast, pulls in this papillo 
and just reels the thing in and he was so stoked. It was the first time he'd caught a papillo in that little river. He just had the biggest smile on his face and, and so that became kind of an inspiration. So the collaboration was more about the experiences that we had in our time together. We settled on, you know, one of the leaves from the koa tree and, and an image of the papillo. Hopefully it turns into something cool. There's so much story that goes into every piece that he does. Every leaf that is drawn or every flower that's on a shirt, there's a total background story behind it. But he's like, I could tell the story and have a hang tag on the shirt or whatever, but he's like, I just, I would rather tell it to the person myself. He's like, I don't need to write it down on a piece of paper so more people can see it. When I see people, I'll tell them about it. We never want it to end. We always want it to go ulu ulu, to always grow, to always inspire. Oh, <laughs> 